Well, do you want to chop like a pro, unlike me? Canada's food diva Maribel Linfield runs an online cooking school and she's here to teach us some knife skills. I could have used some in the kitchen with these two giving me a hard time oh, before. Now, listen, could have used some knife skills. Maribel, welcome to New Zealand. You're here doing a tour around the North Island? Down under, yeah. Completely opposite side of the world from Canada. It's really cold right now, so this is a nice change. Wonderful. And you've done how many kilometres so far? Uh, just in New Zealand, about 1,400, my husband was telling me this morning. That's amazing. <laughs> and you've been impressed by our the beauty of the country. I cannot believe how gorgeous your country is. It's just stunning. We're, Absolutely stunning. And you're from Canada, which is yes. also stunning and quite similar in some ways around we the We have Alps. some pretty bits. Yeah, we do. We yeah. have some pretty bits. <laughs> So you, what do you do mainly in Canada? It's online. Your, your fame is online, isn't it, as yeah. opposed to television? Yeah, I've done a lot of TV work. I started off teaching cooking lessons six years ago. I'm a classically trained chef in French cuisine, but I'm cross-trained about 13 different ethnicities as well. And I started off teaching cooking lessons from home within a year I was on TV. Uh, my youngest brother is a digital media major, so that's how I got into the online cooking school idea. And uh, I... The number one question that I am asked is, you know, as a professional, where do you spend your money? What's the number one tool in the kitchen? Knives. Knives. Mm. It's so true because if you don't have a sharp knife, oh, yeah. it makes all the difference. It's it really important. An incredible amount of difference. So yes. you've got to know how to use a knife properly as well. Yes. A lot of people think that knives are scary and they're not. They're a fantastic tool in the last millennium. I think it's the, it's the number one rated tool ever. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that a lot of people do not know how to use. So I'm here to demystify a few things. Oh, in there fact, you go. On my, on my website, fooddiva.com, I do have free videos on how to use a knife as well as get yourself all organized and inspired and prepped in the kitchen to get you in, you know, in, in the mood to learn how to cook. Right. Well, let's get into it then, the demonstration. Mm -hmm. We're all here. These boys are getting a bit of a, a head start for their cooking segments <laughs> later. Yes, yes. Um. Uh, but there wasn't a lot of chopping in mine, mainly <laughs> cooking anyway. So when you're choosing a knife, what do you look for? What you're looking for ultimately is there's a lot of good brands on the market. Um, this one is whooshed off and it's, uh, I have a whole set of these at home and they're absolutely fantastic. You're looking for, you know, a full construction. So this is what's called the spine of the knife. This mm. is the heel. This is the tip. Okay. Uh, this is the handle. It's got beautiful, strong rivet con uh, construction feels good. It should balance quite nicely okay. as well. Okay. Yes. You know, with, the, with knives and with the handles, you know when you play tennis you have a particular handle or wrap for your, um, for your handle? Is yeah. it the same with cooking or do you have to keep with he means, do you, he means do you put a tennis wrap on it. Well, no, not a tennis wrap, you know, because everyone's different. There's slightly different handle styles. The right. blades are ultimately the same, but sometimes it's just a matter of even within the same, you know, uh, company, there's different handle um, right. feels. So, yeah, you might prefer this one. Sarah might prefer another mm. one. Yeah, okay. Because so, to yes. me, would I, see, if I was doing a knife, I would be holding it like that. Mm -hmm. Is nope. that okay? Absolutely. There is a couple of different ways to use a knife. And so what I wanted to mm. focus on is uh, you'll notice I have a large knife, large chef knife, a bread knife, which has a completely different, it's got teeth on it, mm -hmm. different blade, and I have a small knife. These three of all the different selection of knives, and we've got a whole selection over here in the uh, wood block as well as some extra auxiliary tools. Um, these are the three basics that I would Must say you have. have in your home. Right. If you have these three, you can do anything. Right. You See, I'm missing one of thing. these, ah. and it's so annoying when you get bread. <laughs> a bread, and it's also good for a number of other applications yeah. as well. Okay. Good for tomatoes, in this, right? Yes, because they got teeth and they grip. Oh, yep. Tomatoes have a little bit of a slippery skin. Oh, so that's what. You're yeah, clever. grip. Anything that's a little slippery. Practice, practice. It's, it's good for that. Yep. So, should we try some chopping? Yes, let's try some chopping. I've got a zucchini here. Mm -hmm. So there's three basic ways of, of using a knife. Now, a lot of people, when you watch a chef in action, we've got the speed down because yes. our technique is fine. So a lot of people see the up and down motion. You're mm. not seeing the side to side motion. There's a little side to side action in here that makes a world of difference. Okay. If I chopped like this for 40 hours a week as a professional chef, I would have tendinitis in about mm. two weeks. It's too much energy. It's too stressful on my joints. So instead, I have to make this easy, easy and efficient. And those are two words that every professional wants to hear, mm -hmm. okay? Because you can maximize your, product, your productivity, your creativity, and the number one thing that you can save on in, in home preparation is time in the food prep. Cooking isn't actually a lot of time. A lot of it is spent in food prep. So what you do is instead of going just up and down, you go down and away, up and towards, down and away, up and towards. And you can see the locomotive action. So the, the down downward motion away, actually does the sliding. And the backward motion does the repositioning. The there we go. Okay, that's it. It's like dancing, really, isn't it? It is. It's a dance. 
It's a dance. I'd, I'd probably make that. Would you guys egg. like to try that? Yeah, Does the top not? of your uh, knife never leave the uh, block? Not really, no. Down so away. when you go down, it's the slice down of motion. And away. Down and away. And up and towards. There we go. So when you're practicing, have somebody keep the top, the tip down, because that's the number one thing that you want to lift away. the tip. And, it, and when you're slicing, you push forward. Oh, shocking. And at first, it feels oh, wrong. Down and away. So up always get your technique first, and then the speed will come. Brendan, you're hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, you're doing a really good job, but just in the reverse. You're going down and, and backwards instead of down and away. Yeah. Wow. I'm only staging oh. you, Brendan, because you did me. <laughs> I'm just, it's a, I'm a natural. by the world's best. <laughs> There you go. I'm and done. you're sliding forward. Oh, look at Hayden. But I think Is I've got right? tendonitis. That's the problem. <laughs> Am I right? Am I this right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The only difference that I would change for you is keep doing that. what you're doing is to practice. That's actually very cool. There we go. Can I come oh, like that. Yeah. Oh, give me a break. There we go. Now you've got it. I I'm worried a bit worried about the fingers, that's all. Oh, well. Oh, that's it. Once you, once you get your technique keep down, keep you inch the, the other the side. thing on the ground, I think. Have you ever cut yourself? Um... Everybody has war wounds of some sort in their trade, but it's been about 10 years since I've cut myself. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Real pleasure to have you on the show. I know Thank you're joining you so us a bit later to give us some more tips about yes. cooking again. A bit late for me. I'm still like <laughs> recovering from my experience. But just ahead, it's Hayden's turn. He's going to cook for Ooh. contestant number two, Rachel Tawa. And later we meet the musical stars of the hit movie Once. So exciting, but Aroha is here first.